How is everybody doing today? So, last time I was working on this, I hit a snag, got upset, and just quit. <laughs> uh, so, the water pump, I was torquing down the water pump, and two of the bolts decided they wanted to pull the threads out. Really sweet. I'm really stoked about it. So, we got a helicoil uh, pack to fix it. Now there's a couple options that you can do with this. If you have a tap set and you have a, a bolt that's a little bit bigger, you can always drill it and make it a special bolt. It won't match the rest of them, so it'll be have to be its own. But it it can be had or can be done on a budget. Uh, I was thinking about doing this and debated on it. Couldn't find the right uh, tap for it. So I gave up on it, found the helicoil kit, we'll just fix it with a helicoil and uh, call it good. So this is a helicoil kit. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically drilling out and inserting a thread. So you drill the hole bigger, insert this thread, and then it matches with the bolt that's existing. So this is a M6 uh, by one thread pitch and I forgot how long it is but uh, so the water pumps I there was a lot of controversy online on what this was and it, it is an M6 by one uh, bolt uh, people were saying it was a 1.25 and they don't even make a 1.25 so if you're trying to do a Subaru water pump I think it's 04 and up it's a M6 by one, and you can replace it like that. So this helicoil kit, back to what I was saying, it, you drill a hole bigger, then you tap it, and then this is threaded on the inside and the outside. So this bolt will go into these, and you lock tight it in there to make sure that it stays uh, nice and tight. So we'll open up this package and I'll show you what's inside of it. So this is all what's included in the kit. You get a pamphlet or a backer that actually has some instructions on the inside on what to do. Uh, your tap, helicoils, the insert tool, and then the insert guide. Uh, things you'll need Apart from it is a drill bit and Loctite and of course your bolts and a drill and I think that's it. So what you do is you go in, you drill out your hole. Now we've already got an existing hole in there so we'll just make it bigger and then we'll tap it and then the helicoil which are these and of course this is included in the kit heel coil will go in. Now you see one side has a tang on it and then the other side does not. So your bolt goes through one side and then it stops on the other and that tang is used to thread this in to the hole that you just tapped. So you put that into, into here. Well first you put it on here. Put it into here and then you'll put it up next to the hole and that will align it straight in. And there you go. Drill, tap, insert, and then remove it. Now to make sure that this uh, comes all the way, or so the bolt can go all the way through, you gotta break this little tang off. So you have to break this tang off and you can see that little groove right there. That part breaks off and leaves the rest of the thread attached. This is how the helicoil works. There's a little bit of a notch on this end that catches on this tang. So you make sure that you have the tang side uh, facing away from the end. Screw this in and then that tang will catch on there. And now it will spin this whole assembly. Put that all the way down into here and then you can start threading it. Make sure that the you're not cross-threading it, but start threading it through. And then you butt this up against your, in my case, the block, 
and you just keep threading it through till it goes all the way through. And then you can back the, take this part off, and then you can back this off to get the helicoil to stay in there. And then you have to take a punch, knock that tang off, and break it off. Always apply Loctite to this outside. You want this piece to stay in and the bolt to come out. Because if you don't, when you put your bolt in, there's a good probability that you put it in, and when you go to take the bolt out, the helicoil will come out with it. It's a lot harder to get the helicoil back in than the bolt. So always, always put Loctite on this before you put it into its final position. And once you get these things in, they don't come out. And the reasoning behind that is basic physics. So you are putting tension on this coil and you're effectively turning it to making it like shrink in. The spring is shrinking. And then when you try to go backwards, you're effectively making the spring wider. It's kind of weird, but trust me, it does not ever come out. So you have to drill this out if you need to and uh, try again if anything goes wrong. With the kit, you get a tap, and this tap has um, has to have a certain diameter for the bit or the hole that it has. You can't just go sticking it in the hole and hope you have enough, especially with an aluminum block. These gall up really quickly, and the aluminum just stays stuck in them. So if you're wondering what bit to use, it says on the front, Underneath your M6, it says drill size, quarter inch. And if you happen to throw your pamphlet away, it actually says it on here too. Drill one quarter. And it has all the information. This is the helicoil for an M6 by one. It has their part number. The problem you see how the coils just stop they're actually non-existent right there because we can go up to this one and you can see the coils go all the way to the end whereas this one they don't this one was giving me a little bit of problems too so I'm probably just gonna do this one as well that way I only have to do it once. But luckily, these I thought these went into the engine, but they actually don't. They, are, they stop in there, so that's good news. So I've taken some precaution, put some tape over the water uh, pump hole so no shavings get in. I spent all that time cleaning it. I don't want to tear it apart to clean out some metal shavings if I can help it. So quick little step, throw some tape on there and... Uh, don't have to worry about it. Just got done drilling out the hole. So I didn't want to go very deep into it. That helicoil isn't very um, uh, long. So it'll only go in a little bit. So I really didn't need to do um, drill it as far in as I did. But I figured the chances of me actually hitting the other threads perfect were very slim to none so i just drilled it out the whole way and i'll just tap it the whole way and only set the helicoil in to where it's flush with this face i want i have to have it flush or inset because this is where a gasket sits and i need that water pump to sit as tight as i can to this so got it drilled out got my uh, tap in my little hand tapper and just gonna squirt some WD-40 on it and go from there start tapping this it's important to go super slow and take your time and make sure not to drop this bit you drop it and you mess up all those cutting edges well then the taps basically ruined so take your time apply some pressure and Always try to use a new bit if you can because they work the best.
Once you've got the tap set, go in a couple turns. And then back it off a quarter, and that breaks the burrs that are inside there. I don't know if you can see, but those burrs will hang up and cause problems later on. So go forward, back it up. So when you're done getting ready to back out your bit, it's uh, sometimes can be helpful to get an air chuck and just blow air into each one of the holes. And that will get those chips out. And then you're fighting less uh, particles when you're trying to pull it out. So go forward, pull it out. Now I don't have anything that I'm fighting. Little bit of stuff in there. And now we've got threads. That are inside there. Once you get done tapping it, always blow off or blow out the hole to make sure you get all the particles out of it because you don't want those in there when you're trying to uh, set your helicoil or try to put your bolts in. So blow it out uh, and to get all the WD-40 out of there, you want to get it dry as you can so that that helicoil has something to grab onto and the WD-40 isn't, or the so the Loctite has something to grab onto and the helicoil will stay in there instead of coming out and the WD-40 won't mess with any of that. So got that one all done. We'll put some Loctite on the helicoil and grab the helicoil, put it in. So there we go. I've got the helicoil most of the way in. This uh, adapter came off and you can see that the coil is just about in. So we'll tighten it down a little bit. I have a, another little chuck to, that I've used. But we can just keep spinning it in. You can see the Loctite coming out. Maybe a little bit more. Another turn. That looks good to me. We can always take it off and put put it in further if we need to. There it is. Got our coil all inserted in there. Still have the tang in. But I'll take that and I'll knock it off real quick. But our bolts now should fit in there. Look at that. Now it'll hit that tang, so I'm on that tang now. But our bolts fit back in. Go on and do this other one. You can see the uh, thread's already starting to come out. I was over looking at this one, and you can see that the thread is already starting to come out. So this is what happens when your thread pulls out is all these little ridges in here just break loose. So there's pretty much a coil of your nut that holds it in there. So that one's definitely failing so we'll get that one fixed too. So the first time I did this, I went and put, put the helicoil on this adapter and then put my Loctite 
on this and put it through this adapter and then put it in. But I was thinking about it, the smarter way is to take your Loctite, just put it in the hole and then it will go around the outside of the helicoil when it goes in and you don't have a huge mess to clean up. Loctite in there and we'll start to put our helicoil in. So it doesn't take very much force but you can break those tangs off real easily just giving them a quick little tap and then they'll break off now I'm gonna go in there and fish them out and make sure that those chunks come out there we go there's the end of the helicoil broken off now that we've got both of those uh, helicoiled and fixed I'm going to put the water pump back on, but I'm not going to put it in those two put in those two bolts. I'm not going to torque it down. I just want to put it on there to get it off the bench. So I'm going to put it on there, and it's always a good idea to let them sit and let that uh, Loctite start to work. That way, when you go to put Loctite on your screws, that it won't bind the two together. There'll be a, a little bit of a layer between the two. That's helicoiling. That's how to fix your water pump uh, on your STI or basically helicoil anything. They're super universal. They've got tons of different sizes, bolts, um, standard metric, but it's real easy. Anybody can do it and you don't need any special T tools. One thing, uh, a tip that I have come across or learned through the years is if you have something that's mobile, so say if you're trying to helicoil into one of these bolts, put the bit into your drill press. If you happen to have a drill press, just put it in the chuck of the drill press. Don't turn on, unplug it, and then just spin the chuck by hand. So you can sit there with the tap, you can sit there with the tap and slowly work it in and then you can move this, put a little bit more pressure on it one way. But that gives you a perfect up and down and you have the tendency to go kind of cockeyed or sideways depending on how the tap bites when you first go in. And you don't wanna, oh, like wiggle it down to be oh that wasn't straight because then you just ruin that first uh, start to the coils uh, the threads so make sure to go in straight as you can take your time starting it because starting it is 99% of the fight is getting it started once you get it in it goes in smooth you just turn it a couple times back it off to break the burrs turn it and then be done with it uh, it's that simple can be done real easy if the engine's out if it's in there that's a problem i guess that you'd have to face yourself who knows i almost said ah forget about it it'll be fine enough but i've had problems with this water pump before or a the water pump this is a brand new one but i just wanted to make sure it's all perfect when i go get it in the car so Hopefully I don't have too many gremlins to chase down as as soon as it goes in because I'm pretty much guaranteed to have gremlins. I've had problems with every single part along the way. We had problems with the the head coming off. We had problems with the valve, valve guides. We had problems with the valves. We had problems with the water pump. Yeah, so something's bound to go wrong apparently because that's how it's going to be. But uh, anyways... That's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to catch you guys later, and that's how you helicoil. Take it easy. Peace.